2020. Remember, 2020 is a gift handed over to you and I. Remember, you did not deserve it. You did not work out, work for it. You did not earn it. It is just a gift given to you by God. God doesn't own you anything. You and I, we own him everything. It is a gift. Remember that 2020 is a gift given to each and every one of us. Don't think that you 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 deserve it or you are entitled to it. Don't feel that entitlement. I, I must be no. Steve Job is not an. Uh, he was the one of the richest people in this world. But Steve Job, the the creator of iPhone, iPod, and stuff, he's no more. Michael Jackson is no more. Whitney Houston is no more. So don't think you are entitled to this year. No, it is the grace of God. It's the gift of God for you to be alive. Because I'm telling you, some people didn't even make it into this year. Some people didn't make it. And I'm so surprised that in the very infants or very beginning of this new year, the kind of attacks that I'm, people are telling me about and I'm seeing, I'm, so, I'm surprised that it's, it's a new year the first couple of weeks and the massive attacks that people are going through already, I'm asking myself, is it the same year we are saying it's going to be a double door breakthrough and all those things? And the, already the enemy says, hey, if you guys are serious, uh, we are also very serious. So uh, we need God. All I know is that I need the presence of God above everything this year. So I just want somebody to know that it is a gift given to you. So, cherish it and thank God for it. Praise God for it. Exhort God for it. Appreciate God for it. And don't be ungrateful because there are people who have lost their lives even today. But they also had visions and aspirations and resolutions and plans for this year. But they are no more. Somebody too did had many good things in store and planned many things for this year. They could not even cross over. It is only the grace and the message of God. So, please, for the life that you and I have, it's a gift of God to us. Let us learn to be appreciative and thank Him. If you come on this prayer line, one thing I stress always, be thankful, be grateful, and be appreciative. If you're an unthankful person, ungrateful person, and all you know is, oh, give me, give me, then you are not qualified to be with us. Because we know how to pause to say, thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We glorify you for the gift of life. Because without life, you cannot have any resolutions and uh, prayer uh, answer, uh, prayer requests and uh, dreams and visions. What is a dead man going to do with dreams and visions? What is a dead woman going to do with marriage? What is a dead man going to do with breakthrough jobs? You need to be alive first. And God has spared you and I, giving us the gift of life. Why shouldn't I praise him and celebrate him and exalt him and adore him? No matter what I'm going through, I'm alive. It's better than to be dead. Thank God and bless God. And as you praise Him, things only get better once you and I put our trust in God. So now listen to this announcement. Next week, Monday, Monday, which is January 13th, January 13th to February 21st, January 13th, next week, Monday, or if you are listening to me, January 13th to February 21st, we are starting a 40 days fasting and prayer. 40 days fasting and prayer seeking the face of god 40 days very very critical very crucial very very prophetic why because jesus christ started his ministry by going to wait on the lord 40 days and 40 nights moses went into the mountain to wait on the lord 40 days and 40 nights that's how he got the ten commandments so anytime you want a very supernatural radical change of event then it is good to also seek the face of god if they've done it and gotten good results, the Bible says how Jesus Christ was baptized with the Holy Ghost and with power after he came from fasting and praying, that he went about doing good for God was with him. How Moses, after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, came back with the Ten Commandments. The Bible says his face was radiating with the glory of God, that they had to put a veil in order to be able to look at him because his face was radiating with what? The glory, like light, like the sun. They could not look at him. After that, this 40 days, if you will give yourself to this 40 days, I believe that you will come back and you will take over and take dominion of this year in the name of Jesus Christ. So it is a time of us going to seek the face of the Lord 
to inquire of him his will, his ways, his purpose for our lives, to pray his kingdom come in our lives as it is in, as it is in heaven, and to ask him that his presence may be, go with us. His presence, that we will be and abide in his presence 24-7 throughout the course of this year. So to me, I don't know about you, but it's very important. And this year too, it is not the year of, it's not like last year whereby we are fasting and we are cheating on the fasting and we are one leg in, no, no, no. if it is fasting and you want to fast, fast. And be serious about it so that you can get some serious results and get some serious miracles and serious testimonies and break yourself of some serious addictions and uh, some serious use and some serious witchcraft that has been frustrating your life for so many years. Be serious for once and get some serious uh, deliverance. And therefore, I will encourage you to take it serious and be part of this fasting and do your best. You've been talking about losing weight, losing weight. This is a good time not only to experience a spiritual benefit, but to also uh, start the year well by putting some discipline. 40 days, if you can structure even the way you eat and uh, take away all the junks and begin to give yourself... All participants are muted. And, and give yourself uh, into the right food and drinking more water and doing the right things health-wise, I believe that it will help you because some of you are out of shape. The way Christmas came and you were eating from monkey donut to donkey donut and eating everything, uh, the way I'm looking at you, you look like you're putting on some five pounds, which we need to, we need deliverance to get you loose to lose it this year. But for this 40 days, if you take it seriously, not only are you spiritually going to get closer to God, spiritually going to be sensitive to the voice of God, spiritually break yourself from evil cycle, but health-wise, you'll be in good shape for the year and be able to seek out your resolutions and fulfill God's prophetic way for your life. What is the essence of um, fulfilling dreams and visions when you, you the doctors begin to give you bad diagnosis? Your heart is failing and... Um, uh, we are discovering that your cholesterol levels are high and um, and then you have high blood pressure and diabetes and and then you become you, you break through but now you, you can't enjoy the blessing because health wise the devil has defeated you because we were not disciplined this year I need God to deliver me from sweet uh, so I, I, I'm praying for deliverance keep me in prayers oh Lord deliver him from sweet so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be eating more fruit to get my sweet from it. May the Lord deliver each and every. I, if sweet is mine, I used to be addicted to Coke, Coca-Cola. And God delivered me. Now he has to deliver me from the chocolate and deliver me from some candies and stuff. Uh, so we are all praying for deliverance. Everybody needs deliverance. I don't know what you are. You need deliverance from some of you need deliverance from different things. Uh, so I'm, I'm asking God to help me to stay focused and to eat right and to do the right things and to even start exercising it's all part of because your temple you have no idea that your, your body your your body is the very temple of the holy ghost and that's why you have to take care of your body some of us are treating ourselves anyhow but don't you know that you are a container of god and if you don't take care of your your, your vessel you are you are you are you are disrespecting god how can you the bible says the spirit of god the spirit of elohim the Lord Jesus himself abides in you and I. He dwells in you. And now look at how you are, you are taking care of yourself. Eating from everything. Eating all the junks. And now killing this body, which is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Now don't you know that you can only fulfill destiny as long as you are on this earth. Immediately this flesh dies, you are going to also leave this earth. Spirit don't live on this earth. Any spirit you catch is a demonic spirit or is a ghost. They are not, it is, it is not right for a spirit to be hoving around the earth. It's illegal for spirit to be living on this earth. The sp what is legal is a spirit to be in a body. So even the spirit of God cannot work in you and through you and for you if you are dead. The spirit of God cannot work in you through you and for you if you are sick don't you know how many people oh how i wish i could praise the lord but i can't because i'm sick because i'm on the, on the sick bed or i'm in coma you can't praise the lord you can't worship him like you want to when you're in coma when they strike you with cancer 
you you your spirit will be willing but your body is decaying and that's why this year may we take care of the vessel that contains god that is your body and when you begin to know that that's when when we say don't drink or oh, by god that no no you are a container of god so i don't take alcohol so as to abuse it i'm a container of god's vessel so i can't smoke so that they give me uh, copd or lance cancer or I begin to have problems with my health. So I take care of this body because it contains God. If you respect God, then you will respect that which contains Him. And the way we are eating and the way we are treating our body, definitely it's, we have no respect for the God we serve. Because if you are the vessel that contains God, look at the way you are putting on weight left and right. You've lost weight. Can't you see it? Don't we, the last time you check the mirror, don't you see that you are putting on too weight? The last time you did, you ran some um, checkup. You went for the checkup. Don't you see how your cholesterol levels and your high blood pressure and all these things are going high? You are killing yourself. This is no demon. This is no witch. You are. We are killing ourselves by, I'm sorry to say, no, not eating right, not exercising right. So now, even when the Lord blesses us, how long are we going to be around to enjoy it? short life because we did not become wise wise on our health i'm praying for deliverance this year that god will not just deliver me spiritually but physically that i may keep this vessel could you imagine if you take care of this body it can be around for 120 years and 120 years you could still be praising the lord and as expressing the same way to if you don't take care of this uh, body the way you are eating from fat food and eating everything and eating late and eating every junk this body may be able to contain it for 60 years and less than that and you are gone and dead. You couldn't praise God more. So this year, may God help us and help us to know. So I told myself that, you know what, even if I will mess around with my food, the rate at which we fast on this prayer line, if I'm very consistent and very disciplined, when I fast, I'll be in shape. Because any of you who knows how to do calculations, do the calculations from day one and realize that we may fast more than half in a year. We may fast six months in a year. Six months of this year, we fast. Six of the month, and we have another six months which we eat. If you are subscribed to the discipline on this ministry, we fast. We do 40 days fast. We do 21 days fast. We do 30 days fast. The beginning of every month, we do one week fast. The beginning of every quarter, we do two weeks fast. Then we do emergency three days fasting. Then we do, uh, we, we, we fast. So if you put all together, we may be fasting half of the year. And if you are fasting half of the year, and those fasting, you took them seriously this year. Definitely, even if the other half, you were eating anyhow, you still be in shape. Because you were very disciplined during the time when you were fasting. But some of us, I'm sorry to say, this year, if we don't take care, we'll allow the devil to cause us to kill our own selves by our indiscipline. And some is beginning with the way, you know, what you eat is what you become. You are eating all the junks. You start thinking like junk. You start behaving junkly. You don't do nothing right because... May the Lord have mercy on us all. So I, I'm just saying that in this 40 days fast, there are benefits. Not only spiritual benefits, but physically, it will benefit you to make you be in good shape. When your husband met you, you were very, 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 very in shape. Now you put on all the weight and you've lost your, 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 your shape. And, and now you are trying to push it to, oh, you know, the children and the children. So what, are you the one, only one who has children? Get back to shape. Get back to shape before another Delilah woman, a Jezebelic lead, which are going to come in this year very, very hard. The Delilahs and the Jezebelic and the marine agent, they are coming seriously for great men. So you don't want to do things whereby your husband now is looking outside and then this... Jezebels and Delilahs are there to entrap. Today we're learning things in the book of Proverbs. They were entrap 
the attention of your spouse and then by the time you realize he's into something he ought not to because you yourself you are not you are not keeping yourself you are not keeping yourself you are not making yourself attractive spiritually and physically dress dressing modestly eating right and exercising and being proper just because you think you've married so because of that you think you can dress anyhow and be like anyhow please there are other jezebels and other delilahs and other marine spirit human beings who are coming and who are will be doing too many things to entice and to entrap and to bewitch and seduce men so i'm, I'm even calling upon the wives that this year you need to pray for your husbands and not only that but also keep yourself decent and beautiful so that your husband doesn't have to look out anywhere everything he needs is in you everything your husband needs is in you you have to repackage yourself again just like you when you met him first don't say i've married him so that's it please don't play that games this year because they're kind of attacks which is can't come in only god can help us only god can help the men only god don't even trust in your husband's ability to say no uh, no no the kind of spells and seduction that is coming from jezebel and the marine kingdom only god can save all of us and that's why you need to start praying for your son-in-laws pray for your daughter's husbands begin to pray for your husbands and begin to also you yourself do things that will make your husband always feel at home and not look elsewhere and i'm sorry to say some of you christian ladies just because you know he's a christian he's not going anywhere you are just not even taking care of yourselves this one week thing that you put on it's almost about six months now stinking and having a, and you are married so what can i do i have children so what? oh really another jezebel is going to use how do you call it indian hair style and then different things to come and entice keep yourself well and exercise and get yourself back in shape and above all let the virtues of christ the beauty of the spirit your character keep your husband and keep your home so this 40 days fasting we are going to go before the lord the theme of the fasting is show me your glory oh lord show me your glory show me your glory we are going to pray that the glory of the lord will be revealed in every aspect of our lives january 13th to february 21st from 6 a.m to 6 p.m 6 a.m in the morning to 6 p.m in the evening don't be lazy this year fast it will help you even if you are lazy at least do the partial fast fast to two o'clock or fast to um, one o'clock p.m and break with vegetables or fruit and then when it is six you can now eat at least try do something do something let break yourself out of the evil trend and evil chronic problems and chronic sickness and chronic hindrances you have to pay the price to possess the price it, it goes for all of us and if you are fasting please fast and then plan ahead that when i'm fasting i'm going to eat this food and i'm going to eat this way i'm going to take coconut uh, uh coconut water i'm going to uh, eat this there, there's a here something called keto diet keto diet they give you fruits and vegetables and nice nice good food that will keep you healthy that will affect your mind and affect your soul and spirit because you are a container of god so if you if your body itself is messed up you begin to think when you dream no wonder you are dreaming of demons and witches because things are not even well your digestive system is not working well your brains is not working well because things are not right physically so please um, i don't know why i'm stressing on the health because god is telling me some people the devil will try to use health to destroy you this year he's going to use health health not demons though, not witches by your health by an indisciplined eating habit eating late eating junks eating sweet eating fatty eating then they will begin to hit people their heart hit people blood pressure hit them with different demonic diagnosis and then because we are fought because we are contributing may the lord deliver you and i that this year will take care of our body our health soul and spirit take this fasting seriously this year and you shouldn't you wouldn't worry about health issues because when we fast and pray god becomes our healer god becomes our strength we begin to detox you know when you fast it's it also 
takes away toxics from your body. It takes away tox. So if you really take it seriously, somebody this year decide to really take fasting seriously and detoxify, take all the toxics, toxic things away from your body. It will heal you from cancer, heal you from diabetes, high blood pressure, pain, migraine. They all go when we fast and fast right and we fast with the word and fast, pray that. But we are lazy, too much lazy. This year, may God give us the grace to be disciplined in terms of health-wise, in Jesus' name. I see somebody being delivered. Yes, we are going to do the right thing this year and get the right result. The fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, and we'll be meeting every day on the prayer line. Um, for those of you in the U.S., we'll be meeting 10 p.m. Eastern time every day, except for Friday, which is 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Eastern time. For those of you in London, it will be 3 a.m. every day, except for Saturday, which will be 4 a.m. For those of you in Europe, uh, it will be 4 a.m. every day, except for Saturday, which will be 5 a.m. And you can join us live um, through our Facebook. Facebook name is KL Blessing, K-A-Y, and the last name is E-L-B-L-E-S-S-I-N-G, KL Blessing. Or you can watch us live also through our Facebook, our YouTube. Subscribe to our Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Fresh Fire Prayer Line. You can join us live through that channel. Or you can call, uh, you can join me through my personal YouTube channel. But everybody, I encourage you to join the Fresh Fire Prayer Line channel. That's where we post most of our videos live. And um, those of you who want to call the telephone number, you dial 712-770-5600. 712-770-5600 and the station number is 950014 pound 950014 pound um, there are some of you because of the phone um, company you use when you are calling the number they want to charge you if you have that issue just use the Facebook or YouTube to join if you, every time you call the prayer line number if they are saying they, they are going to charge you for being on the line, just use the uh, you connect to us or join the prayer line through the YouTube and Facebook, so you don't have to pay nothing. Uh, some of the phone companies seems to not like prayers, so they are trying to discourage people from using the using it for prayer line. But the devil is a liar. You, you, there's other alternatives. Use the Facebook or YouTube to join us live every day, starting from next week Monday. If you are watching me. And it is within January 13th to February 21. It is never too late. Any point you hear this message, connect and join the fasting. And I believe your life will never be the same. We want to start with God so we can end with God. And anybody who starts with God, who is the Alpha, is definitely going to be an Omega. Finish well with you. I am not starting this year unless I start with God. Show me your glory. If your presence will not go with me this year, then I don't even want to enter. I don't want to even try anything. I just need your presence and your glory. That's going to be our focus, that the Lord will show us his glory, that we will know him better, we will come close to him, he will reveal his plan and his purposes to us, and our lives and our destinies will never be the same. So please, these are the informations for the 40 days fasting and prayer, 40 days fasting and prayer from January 13th, next week, Monday, to February 21st, um, the time is 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. It is water fast, meaning that when you start from 6, you don't eat, you only drink water until 6 p.m. And during that time, you spend, your food becomes the word of God. And we'll be um, reading Proverbs. The whole of this 40 days, our agenda is to finish the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1 to Proverbs chapter 31. As you read Proverbs chapter, Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, I want you to write down the wisdom God will be giving to you. Write them down. Apply them this year and see why that you will not outsmart the devil and you will not walk in and operate in wisdom. Far away from evil and do the things that God wants you to do and you will find yourself fulfilling purpose and destiny. So we'll be reading the, the book of Proverbs. So on Monday, you start reading. Monday, read Proverbs chapter 1. God will have a long day. Yeah. Re read Proverbs chapter 1 and then write down the things that God will speak to you in your in your book in your in your notebook and then the next day every day one proverbs every day one proverbs every day one proverbs every day we are going to be very very wise 
not wise according to the earthly realm but wise according to the spiritual ones and that wisdom will help us to be advantageous have upper hand this year over the ordinary person in the name of jesus christ so this is the information you can watch us live uh 10 p.m eastern time every day every day join us on the prayer line live to pray 10 p.m eastern time for those of you in us uh 10 p.m eastern time monday to thursday except for only friday which is 11 p.m eastern time if you are in london uh, it will be 3 a.m every day except for saturday which will be 4 a.m if you're in europe it will be 4 a.m every day except for saturday which will be 5 a.m and you can join us live through the youtube fresh fire prayer line just subscribe to our fresh fire prayer line youtube channel and click on the bell immediately we come it to notify you if you're on facebook so uh, subscribe to uh, kl blessing or befriend like like it or befriend it and you'll be able to get the notification so this is what is up and coming next week monday uh, join us and your life will never be the same in jesus mighty name amen and amen if you're located in dc maryland or virginia and looking for a place to fellowship and find deliverance then we invite you to join fresh fire prayer ministry Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry is not only a church, but a house of deliverance where we keep the fire of the Holy Ghost burning. Many have come to experience the power of God, setting them free from witchcraft, demonic activities, generational curses, and strongholds to break satanic limitations from their lives. Much of our focus deals with salvation, healing, deliverance, restoration of marriage, and breakthrough. The church is located at 10495 Theater Greens Boulevard in White Plains, Maryland. We meet every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. and Tuesdays from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. You may also join us on our prayer line every Tuesday at 10 p.m. and Fridays at 11 p.m. by dialing 712-770-5600 and access code 950014-POUND. We look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday. For more information, visit our website at www.freshfireprayer.com. God bless you. Hi, this is Reverend Kia. Once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry. I'm here to recommend to you some deliverance materials which will help you. The Bible says, buy knowledge and sell it not. Buy knowledge and sell it not. You have to, re you have to discover in order to recover. If you don't discover the mystery behind your misery, you'll not be able to recover and possess or repossess your possession so knowledge is very vital in this day and age because what you don't know is what the enemy or your enemies will use against you and that's why the u.s spend huge sums of money using it for intelligence because they have to know what their enemies are planning against the u.s before they in order to overturn it cancel it frustrated before their enemies can come against them so the bible says that we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy so many people are looking for deliverance seeking for deliverance but they are very ignorant about the ways the devil operates and they keep on falling into the devil's trap and the devil keeps on getting them the first book i recommend to you is called spiritual diagnosis mind you you can get all these books on our website www.freshfireprayer.com www freshfireprayer.com you can get it on a paper book or you can get it on ebook in the ebook when you buy it it will be emailed to you as an attachment and you can open it and get it you go to the website www.freshfireprayer.com the first book is spiritual diagnosis spiritual diagnosis is the first book i wrote after the lord revealed to me the way the enemy operates against humanity the way witchcraft operate, curses operate, demons operate. In this book, you will understand how the enemy operates. You are going to learn about the portals which the enemies or demons can enter into your body. You, you will know how demons also operate. You also know how to keep your deliverance, how to keep, um, stay delivered. What can keep you from receiving deliverance? You will know the different ways the enemy can attack you either through witchcraft either through curses either through spirit husband either through your name either through against your marriage this are this book was exposed to you anybody who want to know about deliverance and about the ways the demons and the witches operate how witches can hunt down your star how witches can um 
you turn you into scape scapegoat in order to destroy you this book will give you all the vital informations you need for your deliverance and it will help you body afflictions how many people are going through attacks on their body demonic visitation demons in, in, uh, visiting you witchcraft kate goods evil soul ties i explained to you how all these things oppress asmodeus and osmodeus these are demons that breaks marriages and keep people single satanic spiders and spider web every time you experience a spider web in your life satanic monitors demons and witches monitoring you evil authors and covenants that are affecting your body, are affecting your life. You learn all star hunters, demons and witches that are after your star and your glory and how they can pursue after your star to destroy you. How to use the anointing oil, how to anoint your house. These are all, uh, and how to do self-deliverance. This book, Spiritual Diagnosis, Spiritual Diagnosis. The other one is called Deliverance from Blessing Destroyers. This book gives you 30 dreams that shows you that your blessings and your prosperity is under demonic and witchcraft attacks. 35 prayer to cancel demonic dreams and, uh, and against your life. Are you, have you been having evil dreams? Have you been having bad dreams? Do you understand the dreams? Do you know how to pray to reverse it, to destroy it? How to overcome the four major causes of the poverty? You will discover what causes poverty and the 11 witchcraft activities. 11 witchcraft activities to destroy your blessings and your destiny. You also learn about the 16 demons that attack our finances. Prayers to overcome demonic operation against your blessings. Uh, prayers to uh, against witchcraft activities. And nice spiritual element for your, your blessings. Deliverance from blessing destroyers. Emergency prayers for marriage restoration, anybody going through marital problem, anybody wanting to get married, anybody wanting to know how to pray against witchcraft, against marine demons, against strange women, against household wickedness, against spouse, uh, spouse charms, against your marriage, and how to pray to preserve your marriage, get this book, Deliverance from Blessing Destroy, uh, Emergency Prayers for uh, Marriage Restoration, any marriage under attack, this is your book. Consuming Fire for Fire, this is the book that you need in order to teach you how to pray against the spirit husband, spirit wife, python spirit, leviathan spirit, witchcraft spirit, demonic spirit, strange woman, come against singleness, spirit of delay, spirit of uh, satanic embargoes, anything, anybody who is going through witchcraft, this is the book. And if you want to know how to pray against a witch, get this book and it will teach you how to pray against witchcraft and get your deliverance. Emergency prayers for marriage restoration. Emergency prayers. Urgent prayers. This urgent prayers against the strong man. This book will teach you how to pray against back to sender. Anybody who releases evil arrow against you, how to send it back to the sender. This um, book will also teach you how to pray to open every satanic padlock that has padlocked your destiny and your star. This book will teach you how to pray against the spirit of death, sicknesses, and diseases, especially cancer. And this book will also teach you how to pray for favor in uh, for your life. And if you are dealing with any strong man, the spirit of Pharaoh that is holding you in bondage and captivity, this is the book you need. Emergency prayer for uh, urgent prayer against the strong man. Get this book and it will bless you. Touch not my anointed. If you don't want witches and wizards to mess you up, there's the book to get. And once you, you begin to use it, you will get, begin to get your deliverance from all the powers of darkness. Get, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. Get these materials. Start reading them. Start praying these prayers in the midnight hour or every time you have and start praying them. Use these prayers and pray it and it will change your life and it will help you to fight against the powers of darkness and your life and your destiny will never be the same. Go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com If you order the uh, e-book, you will get it within 24 hours uh, and we will email it to you as an attachment. If you order the paperback, you will give us uh, four to five days and it will be emailed to you uh, it will be sent to you and it will help you out to get your deliverance god richly bless you bye